Hey guys, it's Jason here again. I wanted to go ahead and continue on with part two of of our tutorial of jQuery UI dialog. Um, in the first one, we created a first tutorial. Part one, we created a simple, basic uh, pop-up modal dialog, um, which was right here. And uh, basically, it's a button and a div. You click it and it pops up informational and that was all it was now we're going to go um, into some other properties and functionality associated with the jQuery dialog um, so when we created uh, the initial dialog the only property we used was modal modal equals true so what I've done is I've already wrote the code for what I'm going to um, demo, um, but I'll just step through it. So basically, and so back when we were here, there was a button and a div and the JavaScript, or jQuery, I should say. <clears throat> On this one, it's the same, uh, same thing. There's one button and one div, which is our dialog. Um, the title of it is advertisement. So basically, this is going to be like a... Uh, a pop-up in a web browser um, basically a marketing pop-up so you go down here so we're using the button click to launch our dialog and uh, introducing a new property here height so you can set the height you could also set the width but I'm not going to um, we're setting again the modal property to true and then up and the other new property here is buttons so buttons is an array meaning you can have multiple so if you see there so buttons is an array of properties so this is one button and this is the second button and the first button, the text on the button is going to say go to site. Then there's a click property within the button. And this is going to be basically, this is a hyperlink. It's going to take us from the about page where we are to the jQuery modal dialog. Uh, this is basically just to demonstrate some functionality that a button may, may have. The second button the text of it will be cancel and the click function of that button is going to close the dialog so let's go ahead and see that in action here so I go to the about view and so let's go ahead and click the button to launch our dialog and so now you see there's the title and the text and now you have all this generated HTML so you have two buttons now so if I click cancel it closes it that's that's what this click function does this dialog that close open it back up and if I click this button go to site keep in mind look here we're at home forward slash about and when we click go to site we go to the jQuery modal dialog view. And so that is, again, this click function. So as you can see, modal dialogs, it can be very handy. There's, there's um, unlimited functionality almost where in usefulness of where you could use them. You can use them if you're, if you're have you know a grid view and once you click um, and you know you update a row you could use a jQuery dialog as a confirmation confirm save or cancel save um, etc etc so you know they're very useful and uh, so we'll this is all I'm going to show in this tutorial we'll uh, pick it up in part three and we'll go into some of the other properties um, here and, and this is where you can find the API documentation on jQuery user interface. It's api.jquery.com forward slash dialog. 
just remove that. So this is where all of the documentation surrounding jQuery UI dialog is located. So we'll go through some of the other properties um, and settings uh, of a dialog in future uh, tutorials. So hope you guys continue to follow along and uh, subscribe to uh, to my YouTube channel. Thanks.